Home learning, hopefully. And um, we are going to be looking at periscopes today in science. So let me share my screen so that you can see exactly what a periscope is and how it is used. So we are going to be describing how periscopes work. By the end of this lesson, we will know that periscopes are used for observation. You can use them when you don't have a direct line of sight. And mirrors reflect light from the object to the eye, which you should already know. So before we start, we are going to kick things off with a recap quiz. A lot of it is learning that we looked at last week in last week's science lesson, but also from previous units and from year two. Question number one, what is a convex mirror? A convex mirror. Is a convex mirror a mirror that curves inwards? Is it B, a mirror which curves outwards? Or C, is it a mirror that reverses the image, but the reflection size is the same, sorry, the reflection is the same size? Pause the video so you can answer the question. If you said B, a convex mirror is a mirror which curves outwards, you were correct. Question number two, which is true or false? If I raise my right hand in the mirror, my reflection would show my left hand raising. Is that true or false? Pause the video. If you said true, then that is correct. Question number three, mirrors have a good Sorry, mirrors have a layer of transparent glass and A, wooden backing, B, plastic backing, or C, aluminium metal backing. Pause the video so you can answer the question. The correct answer was C, aluminium metal backing. Question number four. When materials such as rocks are able to soak up water, they are durable, B, absorbent, or C, transparent, which is the correct word which describes the property of a rock that is able to soak, soak up water. Pause the video. The correct answer was B, absorbent. And lastly, question number five, animals that only eat plants are called A, omnivores, B, herbivores, or C, carnivores. Pause the video so that you can answer that question. They are bee herbivores and they mostly have molar shaped teeth which are used for grinding and chewing plants. Unlike carnivores which have canines and very sharp teeth, omnivores like humans have a mixture of both. Although some humans are vegetarians and vegans and choose not to eat meat. Okay, so key vocabulary starting off today. We are going to be looking at periscopes. Now, a periscope is an instrument which reflects images through a tube. OK, so a periscope uses two mirrors. You insert them into the tube at a special angle and it allows you to see images where you might not have a direct line to. For example, you can see the submarine here uses a periscope to see images above the water from when they are below the water. OK, now angle, angle is a key word. An angle, when you're using periscopes, they have to be at a very specific angle. An angle is a space between two lines. So here is an angle. That's the space between these two lines. And a periscope, a mirror in a periscope has to be at exactly a 45 degree angle in order for it to be able to reflect the light to the second mirror. And last, we have a mirror image. Now, you know what mirrors are, but a mirror image is a reflected image and it's an image that is identical to another. So we're going to start off the lesson with a quick recap. What is a mirror? Pause the video. Have a think about what a mirror is. You should already know. A mirror is a an object that reflects an image. Light that bounces off of a mirror will show an image of whatever is in front of it. Here I've put a chess piece and actually this is a bit of a... Um, a cheeky mirror. I've put a chess piece and it's reflecting the image. OK, so light bounces off of the object, then it hits the mirror, the mirror then reflects it into our eyes and allows us to see what the reflected image is. Now, many objects provide a reflection. In this picture, mirrors have been placed in front of one another so that the image is reflected multiple times. This man, I can see, appears multiple times. Here is the man in real life. But here is his reflected image from the back because you can see there's a mirror at the back 
and you can see that it's reflecting the image multiple times. If you're ever going to fitting rooms or changing rooms at some stores, some clothing stores, you will see that they have two mirrors in the fitting room, and that's so you can see what the clothes look like from the front, but also so you can see what the reflected image looks like from behind. And if you look carefully, you'll see that your image appears multiple times. It appears to be endless. And that's because when mirrors have been placed opposite one another, the reflected image is repeated multiple times. So, you can see here, I have a tennis ball and I've put my tennis ball in between two mirrors. What happens when you place mirrors on either side of an object? I would like you to describe the image and explain why the image looks this way. Why does it look like this? Because it appears that I have one, two, two tennis balls, but almost a third one here. I can see a glimpse of the third tennis ball. Why is that happening? Pause the video and answer that question. Well, the reflected image, what happens when you place mirrors on either side of an object? The reflected image appears multiple times. And the reason why is because light is bouncing back and forth between these mirrors, which is repeating the reflected image. So it's just bouncing the light back and forth, which then reflects into our eyes and it looks as if we're seeing it multiple times. Moving on. So we're going to be looking at periscopes in this lesson today. And a periscope is an optical instrument. Optical means to do with your eyes. So it's an instrument that you use to help you see. A periscope is an optical instrument that uses a system of prisms, lenses or mirrors to reflect images through a tube. OK, so here we have a rectangular prism. You've got a cylindrical prism here. Prism is talking about the shape of it. it, it Periscope uses tube like shapes and it places mirrors inside the tubes to help reflect an image. Now, light from a distant object. OK, so let's say we have these screws here. So light would, from the object would hit the object. It would then hit the first mirror that's inside the periscope, which is reflected at an angle of 45 degrees and it would reflect it down the periscope all the way to the mirror at the bottom. At the bottom of the periscope, the light strikes the second mirror and then it's reflected into the viewer's eyes. The simple periscope only uses flat mirrors and that allows you to see the image directly as it appears. It is a mirror image. It looks exactly the same as what it looks like in real life. However, there are some periscopes, for example, the ones that are used on submarines, which are usually complex optical system using both lenses and mirrors. OK, it might magnify the image. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a video on how periscopes work. So I'm just going to share my screen so you can see the video. OK. are used to see objects that are not on the same level as the observer. Mirrors inside the periscope bounce the light towards the observer. In order for the periscope to work, the mirrors must be facing each other and must be at a 45 degree angle. Light enters the periscope and hits the top. In our experiment, the light hits the mirror at a 45 degree angle. The light then bounces off the mirror at the same 45 degree angle. Be okay, you can see it's bouncing and hitting it at the same 45 degree angle. Basically creating a mirror image of itself. As the light moves down the periscope, it hits the second mirror. Again, at a 45 degree angle. The light bounces off the second mirror at the exact same angle. And this is how we are able to see images using a periscope. And we are going to stop it there. OK, so let me just reshare my screen again so that you can see what I'm seeing. OK. Oops, a daisy. I'm just sorry. There we go. Right. And let's share that again. 
Fantastic. So, as you've just seen, a periscope, so light hits, hits an object, the light is then reflected onto the first mirror, okay, and this mirror is placed at a 45 degree angle. The light from the mirror is then reflected onto the second mirror, again, this mirror is at a 45 degree angle. Once the light hits the second mirror, it is then reflected into the observer's eyes. So whoever's looking through the periscope, the light is then reflected into its eyes. So the direction of light would be the light hits the object. So from whatever the light source is, hits the object, it then reflects, reflects into a different direction, hits the mirror. Once it's hit the mirror, it then reflects onto, it reflects onto the second mirror. And then lastly, it's reflected into the observer's eye. That is the direction of light. Um, as it travels from an object into a person's eye through a periscope. OK, so this lesson we will be describing how a periscope has worked. OK, now periscopes use reflected light from images of. Sorry, I'm getting, keep getting twisted up. Periscopes use the reflected light from two plane mirrors. And I've just showed you how that works, but I know I've numbered it. So light reflects off the object into the first plane mirror. It then reflects onto the second plane mirror, and then finally it reaches the eye showing the image. Now, periscopes can be used for lots of different things. One of the main, most common reasons periscopes are used is for submarines. Now, a submarine is a machine that operates underwater and it allows people to explore deep, deep underwater. Periscopes are used so that they can see images from above the water. So, I here have two uses of periscopes. Here the periscope is being used for a submarine. Here a periscope is being used. This looks like a soldier who is at war. Why do you think they might be using periscopes in these situations? Pause the video so that you can answer that question. OK, so periscopes are usually used by submarines to see stealthily what is above them when they are submerged. We know that submarines are submerged quite far underwater, so a periscope allows them to see what is going on above the water, making sure that they're not bumping into anything. And yeah, now here we have a different picture and a different use. Soldiers also utilise periscopes. OK, why do you think the periscope is being used in this picture? Think about what might be happening over there. So a soldier might want to see if there are any other soldiers around or if there are any potential dangers around. So using a periscope allows him to see without actually disclosing his position and it keeps him hidden. So you are going to do an independent task today and you've got a task sheet. If you have a printer, you can print that off. Otherwise, what I need you to do is simply you're going to sequence the following events which describes how a periscopes work. So you have got to number the events in order of how they happen. So remember the image that we looked at where the light bounced off the apple and it traveled through the periscope and it allowed the person to see the image. You've got to number these sentences because it describes the same thing. So I'm going to read them out to you and you've got to put them in the correct order. Sentence number one says light reflects onto the second mirror. Light reaches the eye. Light reflects off of the object into the first plane mirror the image of the object can be seen. Can you please sort those correctly in chronological order? Pause the video so you can do that now. OK, let's have a look at that. So the first one should have been light reflects off of an object into the first plane mirror. The second one is then the light is then reflected onto the second mirror. Remember, these mirrors are at a 45 degree angle. Light reaches the eye and then finally the image of the object can be seen. So the order was two, three, one, four. Now your second task is to use the diagram to help you explain how the object can be seen through a periscope. I want you to write a paragraph explaining to me how this apple can be seen by this person. I know he can't see it using his own eyes directly, but he's using a periscope which has mirrors at a 45 degree angle to help him. Can you write a paragraph explaining how he can see that? OK, we've got some keywords here to help you, like light, periscope, objects, reflex, plane mirror, reflected image, sight. I'm also going to add on 45 degree angle because that's also a good one. 45 degree 
angle. Oopsie daisy, angle. So use those words to help you. You have the, you can see the direction of the light which is traveling in into the person's eyes. So use that to also help you. And then upload your work onto Seesaw so that your teachers can see it. Well done, year three. You've made it to the end of the week. I hope you have a lovely weekend and we will be seeing you on Monday.